This is Jupiter Today for the 19th of February, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC today, EO begins the day in quadrant one, moving east. Europa starts the day in quadrant three, heading west, but very near its western elongation, and is going to be moving into quadrant four. Ganymede spends all day in quadrant four, heading east. And Callisto spends all day in quadrant one, heading east. At 6 hours UTC, EO is still in quadrant 1, heading east, but getting near its eastern elongation. Europa is now firmly in quadrant 4, heading east. At 12 hours UTC, EO is now in quadrant 2, heading west. And Europa is also in quadrant 4, heading east. At 1350 UTC, Europa goes through its perijove, its closest distance to Jupiter in its orbit, and that's 664,962.9 kilometers. And then at 1422 UTC, EO goes through its perijove, and you can see that the perijoves are basically on opposite sides of Jupiter. And that perijove distance is 420,007.3 kilometers. By 18 hours UTC, EO is still in quadrant 2 heading west, but going to be transiting Jupiter. Europa and Ganymede still in quadrant 4 heading east, and Callisto still in quadrant 1 heading east. And by 0 hours UTC tomorrow, EO has successfully transited Jupiter and is now in quadrant 3 heading west. And Europa has moved behind Jupiter and is going to be going into quadrant 1 heading east. There are five Jupiter satellite events today. At 1724 UTC, the transit of EO begins. At 1743 UTC, the shadow of EO ingresses. At 1941, the transit of EO ends, and at 20 hours UTC, the shadow of EO egresses. And then at 2119, Europa moves behind Jupiter. There are two satellite mutual events today. And this one's a pair as well. Uh, from 21, from 2021 to 2024 UTC, EO occults Europa, and it's a 3.1 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.199 magnitudes. But they're very close to Jupiter, 13.57 arc seconds from Jupiter. And the other event in this pair goes from 2049 to 2052 UTC when EO eclipses Europa and that's a 3.2 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.133 magnitudes and again they're very very close to Jupiter 6.34 arc seconds from Jupiter and 16.88 arc seconds apart and the visibility for these events looking at the Google Earth map, is a lot of Western Asia, all of Europe, and all of Africa. Orbital ribbons for today. These are the temporal connections between the four Galilean moons. These are the same orbits that we just saw, Eo, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto, and I've just connected the same times together, and it makes for these interesting patterns, which to me look like twisted ribbons. So here's the connection between Eo and Europa, and Eo and Ganymede, and Eo and Callisto, 
And then Europa and Ganymede. It's a nice flat sheet today. And Europa and Callisto. And finally Ganymede and Callisto. Then I combine all of these and colorize them to make that for today. Twenty-four hours of Jupiter sky, standing on the equator of Jupiter, looking out, seeing what's going to be happening over the next twenty-four hours at Jupiter. goes Europa passing in front of Ganymede. And there's Io going between the Sun and Jupiter from our point of view. That's a transit. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today, the first at 8.10 and the second at 18.06 UTC. Weren't any new images, but there was some new radio data posted. This is from the 18th of February at the UT time shown. Got some nice structure in those. And there were no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours, 14 minutes, 29.5 seconds, and a declination of positive 17 degrees, 1 minute, 40 seconds. The angular separation of Jupiter from the Sun, as seen from Earth, is 165.995 degrees, and that's 1.133 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle today is 2.571 degrees, and that's 0 0.204 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth is 653,982,463 kilometers, and that's 572,330 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Earth and Jupiter of 23,847.08 kilometers per hour, and that's 1,916.08 kilometers per hour faster than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 798,253,426 kilometers, and that's 45,686 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,903.58 kilometers per hour, and that's 7.17 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 240.37 degrees, CM2, 161.98 degrees, CM3, 73.77 degrees. So please subscribe, and thank you to those who are subscribing. Make sure to tell everybody that you know who may be interested in hearing the information in this podcast and seeing what's going on at the Jupiter system on a daily basis to watch and subscribe and like these videos. You can send your comments and questions and suggestions and images to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.